In other videos, we've looked at groups, but let's look at some advanced features in groups, such as subgroups. Just to review, when we have a group and we have it selected, we can use our next and last, and that will individually select items in a group. But we have the ability to treat more than one channel as an individual item in a group, and we call those subgroups. Let's go ahead and build a couple. I'm gonna hit group group to get into my group list. I'm going to type group 103, enter, and that's going to add a blank group for me. So in order to put channels together into a single subgroup, I want to use parentheses. And to do that, I can hold shift and hit my slash key, and that will get a parentheses on the command line. So for my first subgroup, I want 11 and 12 together, and I'm going to close that subgroup. And now I want to start another one, shift slash, 13 and 14, close the subgroup, open another one, 15 and 16, and close that subgroup. And I'm gonna hit enter, and that's gonna put those into my group. So now, when we use this group with these channels, 11 and 12 will always be together, 13 and 14 will always be together, and 15 and 16 will always be together. So let's look at what that looks like. I'm gonna do a channel check really quick. So group 103, at full, channel check, which is my soft key five, enter, and they all come up. But as I hit next, just my 11 and 12 are together, just 13 and 14 are together, just 15 and 16 are together.